Dietrich in the building. All right, Dietrich, man, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, you know, we, we came across each other in, 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 in a couple of SAP groups. Me and you both is in, is in a few uh, SAP groups. And, you know, and the reason why I chose to, you know, start helping SAP drivers because there's a limited amount of companies out here that's not bringing SAP drivers on. And, you know, these guys, you know, for whatever reason that they're in the FMCSA's clearinghouse, you know, they just trying to, you know, look for opportunities with these companies. And with so many companies out here, that's not that's not saying what they're supposed to be saying. It's, it's hard for these drivers to 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 find a comp to find a company to help them with their return to duty status. Uh, what I've been doing, and I've been doing it for like the last seven years, but this year I got a little bit more heavy in asking, you know, do they accept SAP drivers when I do to make the call series? You you started a website called sapdrivers.com, and it was kind of controversial. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sapcompanies.com. And again, it was it was kind of controversial because you – you kind of set your platform up in the way you set it up, and I'll let you go ahead and explain it. So go ahead. Talk to me. All right, man. Um, yeah, my name is Detra McGee. Um, I founded SouthCompanies.com, and I built it within the past three weeks, just nonstop coding. I have, um, I have 80. So I got this app running within three weeks, and I accumulated a total of 2,300 new users of which only 500 of those so far are paid users. So I am a SAP driver myself. I've been in the SAP program for about um, three, two, two and a half to three years now. And um, when I first got in, I, I did my, um, I did my uh, return of duty and all this stuff like that, but it was hard to find companies, man. I was like, man, I was looking on Facebook. At the time, there wasn't no Facebook groups at that time. Um, I was looking on Craigslist, Indeed, Google, in which each of those had their own limited, um, you know, situation where it was a challenge to even find those companies in the first place. I even did a lot of phone calling, and um, I'm talking about like in every single state, just look up the truck companies on Google and call every single one of them, and that took a long, uh, took a very long time. But what drove me to creating SAPCompanies.com was just being on the road and just realizing that, you know, I have skills, you know, I have skills. And I was like, man, you know, there's really no just resource for these SAP drivers, even including myself, that there's no resource for us. So I started off with um, SAPCompanies.com. It was just a list on a piece of paper. And then I turned that piece of paper into a PDF file. And then from that PDF file, I turned it into a website. So now um, we also have um, on our list page some features that, that make it more valuable for the SAP drivers, you know, as far as keeping the list updated. So I envision sapcompanies.com to be a more community-based effort. That's that that and that means that everybody comes in. We call these companies. If their policies change, you have the power to delete a company if they no longer taking SAP drivers. You can also add new companies. Um, so easy, just um, press the add new button, the add add new company button, and you can uh, input that company details um, whenever you uh, find a company that's outside of the list. Um, and, and that's not all, man. We, we are building the um, DLT regulated course for the drivers, but I was wanting to keep my prices for that extremely low. Like I'm talking about like from $25 up to like 150 just because the other ones that I noticed that are online, they range from 50 to like 225 and that's for each of like the, um, the competitors on that note. 
and I'm I'm trying to bring um everybody some job listings. So for our job listings page, I'm looking for these companies that want to post their chat friendly jobs directly on our website. So that way, you know, the drivers can have more value with visiting our website and looking for companies and obtaining the companies that best fit their preferences because every driver is different, you know, because me, um, I'm a driving guy, you know, I, I don't, I don't really like messing around with flatbeds and all that, you know, tankers, reapers and all that kind of stuff like that. I just like to keep it plain and simple with the driving and that's just me, you know, but we have other, we have other drivers that like flatbeds, you know, that they like tankers. So we have all of that within our list as of now. And, um, I just want this platform to be like their go-to place for all SAP drivers just to get, get to get through the SAP process and to find a job at the end of it, you know? So. Jesus Christ. Mr. You okay in there? Oh, oh, oh. You all right? You run from me, you fucking cocksucker? Where's my fucking money? Let's unpack this a little bit. So you say you're a SAP driver yourself during the time yeah. that, that you was that you was pop what happened how uh, what happened how did you become a sap driver oh man i you know I, I, well, i'm the kind of driver that i like to stay out I, I don't like to come home every two weeks or for two days you know or three weeks for three days i'm the kind of driver that like to come home and take a week off a weekend a quarter if you want to say because i have five kids so when I come home, I like to have fun with them. I want to have enough time to spend with my children to do this, that, and the third. So um, it was just this one weekend when I came to the crib, you know, I wanted to do a little bit more. I was like, okay, let me, let me, you know, chill with my brother. And then my, you know, my brother, he, you know, smoked and I smoked. So that is, you know, just the baseline of how I just got in that situation in the first place. And I don't regret nothing because everything happens for a reason, you know. Um, everything happens for a reason, you know, and, and that, that's just how I feel like. So was you with was you with a company and you got pulled in for a random, or you was looking for a new job and you it, got you got popped? It, it, it was a um, pre-employment, and I um, I was drinking some vinegar, some some apple cider vinegar, and you know. It didn't really work because I didn't have enough time. But, you know, I was just an outside of vinegar to try to clean it out my system. So I kind of felt confident about taking a drug test, but which I, you know, failed. How, how did you find out? Did, did the company tell you or did the, did the, did the drug test people send, send something to you and told you? Well, the, the, first, the first situation, I think they had gave me a call. Um, and they wanted to know if I wanted to use my other spectrum, you know, like my other, I, I, I think it's two that, that, they, that you take, um, you know, they, they try to pay me like, well, charge me like 250 maybe, if I'm mistaken, to use my other, um, you know, sample, my, my piss sample. And they were telling me that I had failed. Hold on, had to... hold on. Hold on. You did two samples. The first one was, uh -huh. the, the first one was pop. But yet they want to charge you two hundred and some odd dollars, so they can use yeah. the second one to see if it would see to see if it would qualify for you know um, the you know the regulations to not be positive. I guess you know. Uh, man, shy bladder charging two hundred and fifty dollars for <laughs> to use the uh, DLT physicals and 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 drug testing, trying to get over. <laughs> What's yeah. up? <laughs> so, so, uh, obviously, I didn't, I didn't have the money because you know um, I was off to work. I was off work for I think that that time for like two weeks, if I'm mistaken. And um, that and, you know I'm a, I'm a lease driver. I don't I don't like you know micromanaging. I don't like you know companies calling me every day. You know I like to handle my business myself. So. Um, so that's the reason why I like to stay out long because I can get my truck note paid up in advance too at the same time. Now you have to go through the FMCSA's clearinghouse. You really don't have to explain all of the steps because we pretty much know. But down to the return to duty, how 
you know, how hard was that? And, you know, what was the company? We, we don't have, you don't have to tell the company name if you don't want, but, well, what, you know, what was the company that gave you the opportunity to get you back on the it road? It was John Christmas, John, John Christmas Trucking. Out of, um, based out of Oklahoma. Um, I, I forget the name of the city, but it's, I forget the name of the city, but it's Oklahoma. It's like in Oklahoma. But John Christmas Trucking, that they gave me my return of duty drug test. They had to stand up with me while I took that, you know, took that return of duty drug test. Um, it, it, I stayed there for like maybe like three to four weeks, maybe, maybe like, maybe like, maybe like a whole month, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just didn't like them, you know. It just wasn't for me. It was too much micromanaging. They had the ELD set up to where you had to do everything through the um, through the ELD, you know. And and that wasn't like my thing because I don't like I, I don't like dealing with those things when you have to do everything within it, you know, like con- like contact your um, your your dispatch through it, you know. I, I like to use a phone, man. Get, get get it over with, you know. So there, there was like some tedious stuff that I just didn't like about them, but they are, they was a good company. The pay wasn't all that. And I was doing a lease program and the lease program really wasn't all that. So I was like, Oh no, I got to get out of here. You know? So I guess when I went to another company that was based out of Maine, Oh, what's the name of that company? Tim back to trucking. I'm pretty sure a lot of truck drivers know about, except drivers know about that one. Um, Tim back to trucking. They did change their names, but I don't know what their names are now. But I went to Tim back to trucking. After Tim back to, um, I went to Evanon Trucking, and that's the one for me right there. You know, that that was like that boom. You know, I, I was I was with them until I completed the um, SAP, my follow ups and everything. The trucking companies, because I I I talk about this a lot. But do you think the trucking companies? are taking advantage of SAP drivers sorely because they that they need them for their return to duty status. And what I mean by taking advantage of, like, you know, giving them low pay, uh, low yeah. miles, and just just yeah. all out disrespecting the driver. Yes. And they and they do 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 and they do do that. Um so that that was um the issue I had with Tim back too. I think I just took that job um, just to take it because I was like I need it. I need. I just need to keep working, you know. And if I'm if I'm not mistaken, they was they was paying maybe forty cents, thirty five or forty cents like that. But when I called them like a couple of months ago, they were like thirty cents because they were saying they don't they don't do reefers no more. They don't they only do dry vans, and it was you like just thirty cents a mile. And I was like, whoa, who? Shit, who? Who? Who's going to do 30 cents a mile, man? I, I, yeah. By them telling you, you know, that that that's pretty much telling telling you, like, yo, we need, we you need us. We don't need you. So if you want to get yeah. out of the SAP program and, and yeah. have us to do the return to duty, then 30 cents is what you're going to have to take. And I want them to do that. Not not the second time around, because the first time, it was like 40 cents. So, so that was okay. And they was doing a reefer. I think it was like 40 or 45 cents a mile. And they was doing a reefer. But when I got with them, man, it was um so little miles. I'm just like, what? I'm like, no, what, what y'all doing, man? Y'all don't know how to even do the logistics part of things right. Because ain't no way I'm finna get a 1,000 miles a week. And be satisfied with that, like no, that's like four five hundred dollars a, um, a week. You know, that's ain't I can I can make that at at Walmart. You know, my man said Walmart. <laughs> All right, yeah. Dietrich, man. <laughs> De- <laughs> for real though, you know. Yes. Yeah, kids for five hundred dollars a week. I ain't no. Uh-uh. You said they ain't. Gonna put up you said they ain't gonna do it. Yeah, well, about five kids. That ain't even going close to do it. Not even. I feel it, man. I feel it. Dietrich, man. Yeah. So with all that, you know, with all that happening with you and now that you're a part of, you know, the, you know, the SAP drivers and you now see a lot of SAP groups coming on, you know, a lot of drivers like to help one another. And, and what yeah. I, and, you know, when you created sapcompanies.com, 
you know, in the beginning, my my opening, I said it, it was a little bit of controversy behind it yeah. because a lot of a lot of the SAP drivers, including myself, I I ain't gonna leave myself out, but a lot of the SAP drivers just feels that you try to take advantage because you're char yeah. well, you 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 put it a behind a paywall. So go ahead and it's it, you know give a, a explanation about that to let us to give us a better understanding of why you did that. Why, Jimmy? Why are you still not renting your movies from the Netflix? Come here, sit down. Okay, so, so there's, there's a couple of reasons why. So, um, sapcompanies.com is not a website. It is, well, the list page, well, matter of fact, the full, the full layout, everything that you see is, a, is basically an app. So... Um, with, with, with it being an app, it, it has more expenses like, um, like the database models. So we have database models. So all of our database models include stuff like, let me go over here really fast just so I can get a good look at it while I'm talking. Okay, our database models include the main topics, products, subtopics, user courses, user course details, campaigns, campaigns logic, campaigns, receipts, users, likes, comments, messages, posts. Providers, providers' locations, shares, tests, testimonials, and a lot more in votes, which the votes are to the to the lead companies. So, with this database, every data set inside the database, when it grows and get bigger, the expenses for this app will become very, very, very unpredictable. So. Meaning that as long as users are adding new companies, they are deleting companies, they are liking, commenting, they are interacting with the platform all together, um, that is going to build up, you know, just more data with more data, more expenses. So um, I don't have the funds to do that by myself. You know, I put this platform to be a community effort. So, um, that's one reason. And this app is running on a server. So with it being a on a server. server. Yes, a paid server. So with, so with it being on a server, um, it, 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 it's deployed on a server. So that means I'm, I'm a coder and um, I, I know uh, and my skill set is Python Flask applications, you know, Flask web applications. So with those type of applications, in order for them to be available to the public, you have to deploy it to a server-based platform in order for people to have access to it. So um, with that said, you know, with it running 24-7, 365 days a year, that is another unpredictable expense that um, I would have to make sure that I have in order to um, keep the app running, you know? Um, so that is about the more people that use it on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, you know, it's the more people that use it more consistently. And as the app grows, the more users we get, the more activity the app has, the more expensive it will be. Um, I, 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 I understand. I see where you're coming from now. You, yeah. you definitely, you definitely going to put in the work. And a lot of the work that you're putting in, expenses needs to be taken care of, i.e. the data, yeah. i.e. the server. Probably You probably yeah. have somebody to put the website together that you got to pay. You probably have to no, pay me. somebody. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. I'll put the website by myself. Completely. Oh, okay. But I, I would like to get paid for my work too. You know, at right. the same that's, time. That's so. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You, you know, you're putting in the work. You're putting in the code. You're putting in the you know, the data, the, you know, the website, I'm not, I'm not PC literate, but I, you know, my son is, yeah. and I see what a lot of the stuff that he does. And I, I come to understand, you know, why he wants to get paid for all the work, you know, and don't yeah. get me wrong. A lot of us, you know, is, is privy to the internet. Like you said, you know, you search, from in the Craigslist, Google, and we we come up with some carriers, 
that that off that yeah. says, hey, we we're SAP friendly, but not all carriers, including the SAP friendly ones, are are privy to you know helping out the SAP driver. Here you have. So, so that's the issue, then. So that's the issue. Okay, go ahead. No, oh, my bad. Uh, here you have an app, a whole app that's not only driven by you, but you also having it driven by the by the community that would yeah. you know come in and help you build the list of companies that will accept SAP drivers. How are you? Over time. How are you policing that? And what I mean by that, because a lot of a lot of companies, a lot of a lot of the lists out here that says, yeah, they SAP friendly, but they're actually not. It, well, they say mm-hmm. after three years, after five years, but that's pretty much saying that, you know, you're you're not helping to return to duty status. And basically that's what we need help with how are you policing uh, policing that when you know you get companies like that so 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 on the list um on the list page itself you know the each company comes within a rectangular block so within that rectangular block we have the title of the name the name of that company we have their website phone number address their emails return to do the test so this is the part where you are trying to get at so the return to the test Yes or no. So it would let the let that user know whether or not if this company does that, which means that they um, hire on step five or step six. And we also have to fill for the test type if that's urine or hair follicle. Um, we also have the positions, company driver or lease or own operators, hauling, driving, you know, the trailer types, driving locations, over the road, local, regional, and minimum experience. For each company, um, so did did that did they answer your question? Oh yeah, for sure. So 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 so, so, so users so users um can you know depict which companies before they even call them, you know they will know whether or not oh this company be good for me or not you know based off the data that is listed on the page. There are. I call them black ops companies. And what black ops means is companies that are foreign uh, companies and they looking for truck drivers. They have like a little office here in the States, but they're dispatching and everything else is, you know, across the seas. And it's pretty much owned by, you know, foreign companies. So with with that explanation out of the way, uh, there's a few companies well, not a few, a lot of companies that like to use Facebook uh, to come in and and try to, you know, lure drivers to their uh, company. Yeah. What's your feelings? Well, I, I, what's your what's your feelings on those particular companies that comes in and you you go into the comment session and you ask about the company and they don't they, they, they're not they're not forthcoming with the information. Yes. So um, I, 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 I kind of dislike that because of the fact that I, I talked to one guy. He, he owns one of the Facebook groups. He's the admin for one of the Facebook groups. Um, and I, I come to realize he's a part of one of the foreign companies. I really don't want to state their names. I want no legal issues with them if they may feel like, um, you know, the, um, what's, what's the word I want to use? Um, Slander. Down talking. Yeah. Yeah, or, 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 or slandering their names. So, like, when when I seen it, I was like, um, I was like, whoa. Because me, me, me and him, we had a conversation. Me and him had a conversation before. Um, and he was like, um, yeah, man, I like the idea. But when I went to go post in the group, he never approved not one post. And when I was looking um, closer into what the group was, I came to realize that he was a part of, like, a company. And then I went to another group, and it was, like, another lady with a with a, um, a Chicago's Bull logo. I don't know if anybody's seen that one, but she have a Chicago's Bull logo. And she's also the same company. And if you go inside those comment sections even deeper, um, it's, it's a lot of them just, 
acting like drivers and leaving fake reviews and trying to make drivers come on with the company, which is the part I was like, whoa. I was like, now nah, they're not they just really going too far. Because with, with me being a, uh, with me on the staff company you know, I, I, I inbox them, you know, looking for a company, looking for the companies, you know. And I come to realize they all are the same company. And the same people are trying to, you know, it, it's crazy. It's how they trying to, how they trying to box in the process and you know, trying to make make it limited by, you know, using that that, that kind of practice, you know. And I'm like, well, okay, it might yeah. really much like a phase, you know. I can't accept that. Why not? Because it's not real money. Well, that's not a real breakfast. Yeah, it's crazy. I, you know, I, I definitely, I want to say exposed a few of them, you know, because it's like if you, if you can, if, if you post it on a public website, such uh -huh. as Facebook, and you're, you're looking for drivers, and then you got a whole comment session of everybody basically asking the same question. Why not answer yeah. that question in the comment? session instead of instead in, of right that's my two more messages yeah yeah instead of sending them here pm me here pm me there like that's red flags to me like if you can't answer a simple question like how much is the pay what kind of trucks we're driving where are you out of i mean those are legitimate questions that drivers going to want to know anyway so why not just put that in the comment session I don't, yeah. I, I don't, I, I don't understand it. And again, like I said, a few, a few of them don't like me <laughs> because, like I said, I, 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 I put them out there. Like you on a public yeah. platform, trying to, you know, trying to take advantage of, of us drivers as well as SAP drivers. You know, I, we, we, we need to let, we need to let them know who they getting involved with. So. Yeah. That's, you know, that's why I do what I do. And now I come to understand and appreciate what you do. So definitely, yeah. Dietrich, man, I I thank you very much for coming on and having a sit down with me, bro. Thank you for having me. I really, I, I really appreciate you coming on and explaining, you know, how sapcompanies.com came together and definitely mo most prosper to you in the future for it, man. Yes, sir, man. It just, you know, there's it, it, like no resources out here, man. I've seen that. I'm like, okay, I, I, I can do something about it, you know. So that's, that's, you know, with, with the list that I built over time, I can do something about it, you know, just to help out. And you know what? You know something else, man? You know, like, I, I could give the list to everybody for free. You know, I thought about this, you know. I could, I could just give it for free. But what good would that do if only a limited people would see it? You know, I can help I can help a few, but what about the next um, thirty thousand truck drivers that fill that drug test that comes next year? You know, will you still be updating that list and giving it out? For, you know, passing it along? Would you would you take out the old companies, put in the new ones? You know, it's just and that's a lot of work. Trust me, I know that's a lot of work. It's, hey, it's doing all this. It's, it's going to get it's going to get even uglier let next year because from what I'm hearing the when they go for their drug test now they they're not only testing for urine but they're testing for synthetic urine as well so if a lot of drivers like to you know like to indulge and they getting they you know synthetic urine from the smoke shop I'm just saying they 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 about to test for it so get ready FMCSA's clearinghouse, they, they, it's still relatively new. I mean, it just came in it effect is. like a, a couple of years ago. What, what's your feelings on, on, on the FMC, FMCSA's clearinghouse as a whole? Because a lot of drivers, they, they have their opinions, you know, especially of us melatonin, you know what I'm saying? But they, you know, uh -huh. they have their opinions. What's, what's your thoughts? about the FMCSA well, clearance house as a whole? Well, I have I have a business mindset. 
I'm, I'm stop. I'm stop. I said that I have a business mindset. I always have. So when it comes down to that, I'm thinking about okay, what if I was the United States or you know the FMCSA, you know, and what if I wasn't, you know? And so what, the reason why I'm saying that is because you know the government has obligations. And we uphold, and we want them to follow those obligations, you know, for community safety, you know, for for the lives of innocent people, right? So I completely understand and support it. I completely do. I completely understand and support it because of the fact that, you know, we have to just do better as individuals and make better decisions and take responsibility for our actions as men and grown women. Um, so I, I support it and I think it's needed to save lives, you know? Um, so that's, so that, so that's my take on it, you know, and sometimes I might hate me saying that, but you know, it's, it's just facts, you know, we, we grown, we have to take responsibility. So many.